Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Danielle, can you just start by, uh, I know Courtney talked to me at the, like the week after you guys finished last year and talked about how unhappy you were not to still be playing. So how has that been able to, how have y'all been able to carry that over from, from the fall to now? How excited are you to keep playing? Yeah, I think the bittersweetness, we still have that bitter bitterness in our mouth. I mean, we're still kind of upset about it, um, but we've been able to turn the page, move forward, have a great group uh, coming in, came, that came in, and um, we're just really excited to be back on the field. I think no matter what, the COVID season has really brought open to our eyes, just not take anything for granted. And so, I mean, we're just pre uh, preparing, getting ready, practicing, all, all the above to, to make sure that we're one step further this year. Uh, also, I'd ask, uh, are, you, are you counting the days uh, now getting back on the field uh, a month away from uh, first game? Yeah, of course. Um, January is always the slowest month of the year for us. But I think going into my last year, I'm really trying to slow, slow things down, um, taking everything in, you know, all the smells, all the feelings, everything. So I want it to go really slow because I don't want January, my last January to end, but definitely counting down the days secretly. Uh, and last thing I'll go with is, can you just talk to us about how, you know, these, you're one of the, uh, the holdovers. How, how do you feel like the freshmen and the uh, transfers have all blended with the group? Yeah, I mean, it's a different group. We're blending uh, differently than we were last year, but definitely, definitely differently in, in better ways. Um, you know, I think we've got some really great returners who are just taking everyone under their wings and showing them the ropes and stuff. And so I think that we're really not going to skip a beat with our young kids coming in and playing this year. So we're really excited to have them. And I guess I'll finish here. Do you feel like this group is better than the, uh, the group a year ago? Yeah, I mean, that group last year was so much fun to play with, but I definitely feel like our talent wise has, has really been up. So it's going to be super fun and super interesting to see the talent and, and everything come all together this season. Uh, I'll let somebody else go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Any other questions for Gibby? Yeah, I'll go. Uh... I wanted to curious, what did you learn from playing with Braxton that you take with you here up to this year, either on the field or even off the field, maybe a leadership standpoint? Yeah, Braxton and I were pretty close um, on our leadership council together. So I was able to really kind of uh, be with her a ton outside of uh, practice too. So the one thing that I've really learned from Braxton is just her maturity, being able to really flush certain situations when she needed to flush them and, and carry on certain situations. But she was just really steady with her emotions um, and, you know, didn't ride the emotional roller coaster, didn't get too high, didn't get too low. She just really made sure that that was what she is also her legacy, what we remember her by is just being a completely mature um, all around player. What have you worked on personally in your own game? You felt like, hey, I need to work on this to be at the top of my game this upcoming year. Um, definitely not stretching to be anything that I'm not. Um, I think that, uh, as a fifth year se senior, I still feel like I'm progressing, which is great. I mean, I'm 22 years old and I've been playing the game for 18 years. So I think that I'm still on an uphill battle, which is great. Uh, but I think that the biggest thing this semester, this past semester that I've really been able to work on is my, just being there for everyone rather than necessarily focusing on my individual game. I know that I'm, I know that I'm getting better, but making sure that I'm there for my teammates. Um, and, you know, I think that that's big, my biggest thing is just making sure I'm not being anyone I'm not. I'm not pushing to be anyone that I'm not, that I'm Danielle Gibson and I do everything that I do really well, so. Do you have a player looking up to, do you looked up to when you were growing into and decided to play softball? Um, not necessarily. I think that I have a very athletic family. My aunt played uh, college basketball, my cousin. Um, was a four-time All-American Player of the Year for at University of Washington in volleyball. So I think looking up to them always when I was younger, I was like, man, I want to be that. I want to be that, but I want my own sport. Um, and so I think seeing that and seeing that I can do that and just put in the work um, has been something that I've really been able to lean on growing up. So my last one, uh, having hosted that Super Regional, having a taste of it, What's the mentality for the returners? They're like unfinished business there. What do you take from that experience into this year? 
Yeah, definitely unfinished business. We had a taste of something that was really, really awesome. We got to play a super at home. Um, you know, obviously only eight teams get to do that. And I think that we have a taste of it and we want more. And I wouldn't, I would not put it past us to be hosting another, as another super regional in May here in, at Bogle Park. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for Danielle Gibson? Hey, I got I got one more, Daniel. Uh, can can you kind of break down what do you think of this team? What are what are this team's strengths and maybe one or two categories where you feel like that uh, you got to work, got some work to do. You got to be a little better. Gosh, I this our talent. I'm telling you, our talent is is amazing. Um, we have so much depth on the offensive side and on the defensive side, which is really, really exciting. I think a lot of teams don't have that uh, opportunity to be really deep uh, in their in their lineups. But I think that, I mean, going into it, it's like anyone's game right now, at, you know, at positions anywhere. And so that's really exciting. I think what we really need to work on is kind of getting outside of us, you know, making sure we're there for our teammates mentally, uh, our mental game getting pretty strong, and just kind of knowing, knowing some softball IQ, um, you know, so I think that that's really good. We're going to be a very, very good team. Uh, it's, it's if we put all the pieces together, which is I no, no doubt in my mind we will. But it's just going to be interesting to see play out and super fun to, to see play out. Thank you. Thank you. Last call. Any more questions? All right. That will.